This truck offers an insane amount of features with as many as four powertrain options. And it comes at a really competitive price without the same shortage problems that are facing the rest of the industry. And so, here are seven reasons why the new Toyota Stout killed the competition. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Truck & Roll for more content like this. First up, let's go over the many engine options available. Toyota is offering not one, not two, but potentially three or four powertrain options. This is a move that's really rare to see, but it might end up working in Toyota's favor. That's because with this new Stout, just about every kind of driver will find an engine that suits their needs. If you're after horsepower, the RAV4's powerful hybrid setup, which is rumored to be part of the lineup, will be perfect for you. With a 2.5 liters inline four engine delivering a combined 219 horsepower, it's like having a jet engine in your truck. And for those who prefer a traditional gas-powered ride, Toyota's got you covered with the same robust 2.5-liter engine found in the RAV4, offering 203 horsepower and paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, while things aren't officially confirmed, it's said that there might even be a turbo 4-powered option in the works. This would pack a serious punch, pumping out 228 horsepower and a massive 243 pound-foot of torque. But this is just the first reason to consider the new Stout. Because reason number two is its fuel efficiency. For most drivers, the Ford Maverick is the benchmark to beat. With its impressive 42 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway, there's no denying it's really great in terms of fuel efficiency. But here's the thing. The Toyota Stout might not only be able to challenge those numbers, but could potentially even come out ahead. Yes, really. Keep in mind that Toyota's hybrid technology is already top-notch, and they might just have something even more efficient lined up for the base variant. A system based on the 2-liter inline-4, the same engine that's been amazing in the European Corolla and beyond. If the Stout has this epic engine under its hood, it could easily hit 40 miles per gallon combined, outperforming the Maverick. Plus, this system might make the Stout even more affordable than its Ford rival. But there's another reason why the Stout has an edge over the Maverick. And at reason number three, that's the build quality. When it comes to what truck enthusiasts value most, the build quality of their pickups is definitely up there. You can't just expect to mess up this important piece of the puzzle. Sadly for Ford, the Maverick has been falling short in this area lately. The company has been dealing with multiple recalls, from engine fires to faulty airbags, the whole thing has been a mess. Now, Toyota isn't immune to the occasional recall either, but let's be real. When it comes to build quality, they've been consistent. And reliability? Toyota has been setting the standard for years. Their plants are like well-oiled machines, producing quality vehicles consistently. The company has a reputation for making durable cars, and they're not about to sacrifice that just to make a compact truck. So, it definitely seems like, at the very least, people can expect the same sort of reliability as the Ford Maverick, with the potential for it to be a lot better. Now, moving on to reason number four, its design. There's no denying small pickups are great when it comes to just how easy they are to handle. Plus, with their overall fuel efficiency and practicality, it's no surprise why more and more people are considering these nowadays. But their looks? Well, that's a whole other story. The thing is, when you've got market leaders like the Maverick painfully trying to mimic its larger alternatives, then the design is definitely going fall a bit flat. Then there's the Hyundai Santa Cruz, with a Tucson-inspired front that's dividing opinions. It's not your typical pickup look, especially if you're used to the classic truck aesthetic. But the Stout might just change that. It's entering the market as a compact pickup that combines the reliability of traditional pickups with a touch of vintage Toyota charm. The teaser images hint at an old-school stout vibe with references to iconic models like the legendary FJ45. With this fresh approach, Toyota's new stout seems like a perfect callback to some truly legendary models while still offering the modern reliability everyone wants nowadays. It might even attract some people who never thought they'd be interested in a pickup, but there's one other classic in the market that might end up giving the Stout a tough time, and that's the Subaru Brat. Both companies are trying to revive older looks, giving a retro spin to these modern vehicles. While it's tough to say whether the Stout will outdo the Brat in the end, with many of the other reasons mentioned so far, its chances definitely look good. Especially when you consider reason number five, the convenience. 
When you're considering a truck like the Stout, you're likely wondering what you're getting for your investment. Well, get ready, because it's rumored to share many components with the reliable RAV4. This means it's expected to offer safety features that are as good as, if not better than, its SUV counterpart. Right off the bat, the Stout comes standard with several safety features. Think forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and convenient automatic high beams. But that's not all. If you're willing to invest a bit more, there's a whole array of upgrades available. Features like rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and a lot more. The Stout also features a large 12.3 inch interactive touchscreen display that's not only sleek, but also includes essentials like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. And despite its rugged exterior, let's not forget that the Stout is all about comfort. You can expect a smooth ride, regardless of the road conditions. There's plenty of room to stretch out, whether you're driving or just along for the ride. Plus, this new model is stepping up with eco-friendly innovations aimed at enhancing performance while being mindful of the environment. The new Stout might already be sounding great, but it's about to get better. Because next, at number six, let's discuss the cab options. Now, consider this. Both the Maverick and Santa Cruz feature your crew cab setups with comfortable seating for your friends and family, but they're paired with relatively short beds. The Maverick comes with a 4.5 foot bed, while the Hyundai doesn't offer much more. How perfect would it be to have a single or extended cab version? Yes, it might mean less passenger space, but think about those who need a real workhorse. Contractors, farmers, or even you on those days, when what you need to haul just won't fit in a small bed. This is where Toyota comes in. The company has a completely different strategy compared to its competition, at least when it comes to extended cabs. While other brands are moving away from this design, Toyota seems to be bringing them back. Just take a look at the Tacoma's Extra Cab, a sleek two-door setup that's quite intriguing. There's some serious potential here, that's for sure. A smaller version of the Tacoma could be huge in the market, making it more than just a truck that takes you from one place to another. It'd be like the perfect hauling partner. Finally, there's one other reason why the new Stout is a huge deal. And at reason number seven, that's the price. If there's one thing you can be sure about, it's that Toyota understands that price is a major factor. Fancy features are nice and all, but if the final product isn't affordable, you're just not going to make a splash in the compact pickup market. Remember when the Maverick first arrived and it seemed like a bargain? Well, those days are quickly fading. Ford's base model is creeping towards the $25,000 mark, and it might even exceed it soon. Toyota, on the other hand, aims to keep its base model stout around the same price range. But here's the thing. It's not just about the sticker price, it's about availability. Ford has been struggling to meet demand, leaving customers waiting for months. Good luck finding one at the dealership, and even if you do, it's going to come with some heavy markups. Sure, Ford promises to ramp up production, but that's easier said than done, right? Toyota knows how to manage supply chains and should be more than capable of overcoming a Maverick-like shortage. Anyway, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.